Markets, breaking news in our economy. We added 250,000 jobs in October. Unemployment rate holds steady, 3.7%. Art Laffer likes that, doesn't he? He he's, sure does. He's he the, loves it. He's the co-author of Trump, <laughs> Trump Onomics, former Reagan economic advisor. Art, how you doing? Great to have you back here on our show. Thank you. But let's just go Thanks, through Bill. the numbers here. We added 250,000. We thought we'd get 200. Uh, wage growth is as high as we've seen in about nine years. What other numbers did you see in there, Art? Well, I saw all the revisions netted out to zero, so there was no offsetting bad news in the revisions of historical data. The one I saw, Bill, that was really hit me really nicely was that part-time, uh, for economic reasons, had fallen substantially over the last year, and average hours has increased, which is one and the same thing. And then you've got real wages, which Kevin Hassett, who's chairman of the Council of Economic Advisors, has been saying this is going to happen. He's right. This is Kevin Hassett's thing. And, you know, this is just a wonderful, wonderful moment month's numbers. Every we sector, it, every yeah. sector gain. It's just great. No, no sector loss. That's a blow. It's a blowout report, Art. It is. It's a very, very good month. Now, remember, I mean, a year still has 12 months, and we've got to keep this pace going, but I'm very happy. I'm calling it the trump Cudlow economy. It's uh, just amazing what good economics will do. The data shows there are 7 million jobs open in, in the United States, which, seven which is jobs. more than the number of unemployed. When was the and, last and, time we were at that, Mark? Well, of course, when the real president was in, Ronald Reagan. Of course, you know that. I'm just joking. Uh, but the participation rate's rising. And we have, let, let me just say, we have a lot of room for improvement. The participation rate can rise by at least two more percentage points. Average hours can rise substantially during this period. And productivity, which has been very low under W and Obama, really low, can really rise a lot. We have a long runway bill that allows us to have a really prosperous economy for the next four or five years if these policies and if these things keep going okay, on. All right, I am really optimistic, okay, really optimistic about the A couple pointed questions then, you know, depending on what happens on Tuesday. If you have divided government, can you keep this pace going or does it... Of course you can. Does it slow down? Yeah, we had, a, we had a divided government with Bill Clinton. It worked beautifully with Bill Clinton. We had a divided government with Ronald Reagan. It worked beautifully there. I mean, you look at I'm the, I don't want a divided government, and but I don't, I, you know, I don't think the world comes to an end if, if the Democrats took the House by two or four seats, something like that. But I think it's really important that the Republicans pick up seats in the Senate, which I think they will. And if they do that, you know, that means judges and all those things, and none of this nonsense that these people are proposing can pay, pass through the Senate. It, it's, I, I am very optimistic about the next two years under Trump, and uh, I think it's going to be a long, good, prosperous era. I think he's got six more years. Oh, okay. Let's talk about message then, because it doesn't seem like Republicans are really hammering home this message. It's more about immigration, it's defense on health care, etc. Do, do you believe that people vote on the economy when the economy is good, or do they vote on the economy out of angst, Art? I think they vote both ways. I mean, I think they vote out of angst and out of good. Uh, I don't think they recognize it as such. But if a guy's got a wage increase or a job that he otherwise wouldn't have had or she wouldn't have had, I think that makes him feel better about the world, better about the administration, better about the country. And I think they vote to keep what's there. I have watched this over about 60 years, I mean, following the data. And the one of the most important indicators of what elections are is uh, the Gallup poll, are you satisfied with the way things are going? And that is coming up very sharply, and I think that will affect this election, and I think it will affect it very positively for the Trump administration. Interesting. Senate side, House side, is that you, you want to take that a step deeper or, or not? In the House side, whether they do it, yeah. I, I think it's 50-50. I, I don't think it's 85-15, as some of the people say. I think it's 50-50. But, you know, the House side can be lost, and I don't think that's Trump agenda. 3.7. Go ahead. Yeah, it may what? It may, it, it may even affect Trump's re-election if Nancy Pelosi is speaker <laughs> for two years and everyone gets to see her up close and personal. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I, what am I saying there? But, she, she said, you know. I'm not sure, but she said she would be transitional if that were the case. 3.7%. <laughs> It's an incredible number. I think we're getting it spoiled. Is. Art, thank you so much for coming back today. Art Laffer My pleasure. Today. Thank you, Bill. Nice Say hello to, to Sandra you. for me. Art, hello, Sandra. Art's having a good time this morning. All right. It's well, wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> Art Laffer, we love having you. Come back soon. We have a lot more coming up on today's economic numbers and news with our headliner. Next hour, joining us will be OMB Director Mick Mulvaney. Uh, he will have reaction to all that at 1030 a.m. Eastern Time, just over one hour from now. President Trump and former President Obama Obama both hitting Florida ahead of the midterms. Why the races there are seen as bellwethers for 2020. Plus this. You get a vote and you get a vote and you get a vote.
great to be here. Everybody get the vote! <laughs> well, the A-listers are coming out. They're spreading across the country with a certain message for certain candidates. And that governor's race in Georgia drawing some major star power. Will it matter? We'll look at that coming up. Well, I'd, I'd like to remind Stacy and Oprah and Will Ferrell.